On this urgent issue of climate change, our ministers have signed an MOU on carbon credit collaboration, which provides a framework for the trading of carbon credits between our two countries in line with the stipulation of the Paris Agreement. The agreement also provides for the exchange of information, knowledge, best practices, and capacity building on carbon credits, plus collaboration on projects which will reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Prime Minister Long and I also agreed on the urgent need to reform both the global peace and security infrastructure, as well as the multilateral financial architecture to ensure that these institutions are equitable, fair, and fit for purpose in responding to multifaceted global challenges. Kenya and Singapore will continue to work closely on areas of mutual interest, and we have shared with His Excellency Prime Minister Kenya's contribution to regional peace initiatives. Additionally, I shared Kenya's position on the need to reform the UN Security Council to make it much more inclusive and reflective of the current global order and dynamics. It is important for like-minded countries like Kenya and Singapore to support common positions. On the status of the UN office in Nairobi, Prime Minister Long and I agreed that the renovation and expansion of facilities to match other UN offices globally is a welcome development. The upgraded facility will accommodate at least 9,000 conference delegates at any meeting, and Singapore will work with us, especially in the upcoming UN Assembly, where discussions on this facility's improvement will be held at the UN in New York. In conclusion, Prime Minister Long and I committed to having an annual high-level meeting consultation on our collaboration in financial services and ICT sectors. The financial sectors will focus on climate financing, while ICT will center on digitization of the economy, including raising the capacity of micro, small, and medium enterprises to make them much more efficient and incorporate them into the formal economy. These core areas form the basis of our strategic partnership for the benefit of the people of Singapore and the people of Kenya. Your Excellency, once again, on behalf of the people of Kenya, I am truly grateful that you found time to visit us, and I have uh, responded to your request that early next year by God's grace, I will make a visit to Singapore. Thank you very much and welcome. President William Ruto, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. I thank President Ruto for his warm hospitality and his warm words. This is my first official visit to Kenya and I'm delighted to be here today. Despite being geographically quite distant. Singapore and Kenya have similar outlooks.